Hi everybody, welcome to Monkey Island Madness. This is an impromptu evening stream um, because I'm going to do a short haul because, and I don't have that much really. Um, I want to put this stuff away and I can't put it away until after I show everybody. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Um, that was some magical papers that we made what, the day before yesterday or something. But anyway, I went into Michael's yesterday. No, it's not. I did buy my um, Secret Santa gifts yesterday, so I was happy about that. But at Michael's yesterday, they had, I guess, between now and Christmas, and I'm going to have to bring the camera way out to show this. But between now and Christmas, and if I read their emails, I'd probably know this stuff, but I don't, so I don't know anything. They're having, like, daily doorbuster things or whatever, but they're having daily deals. And yesterday, one of their daily deals, and they were all over the store, you know, there was signs hanging, um, was these, it was craft storage. You know, I have to pull the camera out so you guys can see. I'll move my coffee out of the way so I don't spill it. Um, but it's like a, what, 14.5 quart um, plastic bin, okay? And I like the ones that have the lid, but this has a lift out tray, okay? With the lid that clips on the sides like this. I like these. Um, anyway, these are normally, I think it, the sign said $19.99. Of course, they can put anything on those signs, and I'm going to believe it, right? This could be normally $6.50 for all I know. I just fall into their traps. Anyway, um, I bought this because my art on the couch stuff is like in a basket now. I'm going to move all my art on the couch stuff in here. So I can put my washi tapes up here. And after I get it set up, I'll show you guys. But I was thinking I could put all of my washi tapes and stuff like that and the stamps and a couple stamp pads because that's one problem with art on the couch is I don't have my the stamps and the stamp pads and then the bottom I could put a bunch of other stuff but I have to move this stuff in it because they packaged my stuff in the bottom so it's it's ample size for all my art supplies on the couch and when I want to clean up for company all I do is pick it up by its handy dandy little coat handle here and haul it off and put it in a closet Hello, how's that for organization? But these were only six bucks, and I thought for six bucks this was not a bad deal. So if somebody's going to keep a running tab of what I spent, there you go, six bucks for that. But, and if it doesn't work for art on the couch, well, I'll put the cat in it. <laughs> I don't know what I'll do with it. It could be a cat container. And then at Michael's, I also got, they had everything on sale yesterday. So I don't even know if I had to use my, um, my coupon, really. I've got the receipt right here, so I'll tell you. And I went to the post office first, so somebody in chat has a surprise coming that will be there Thursday. I was hoping for an earlier delivery, but didn't get it. Oh, I did use my coupon. Oh, I know what I used it on. Okay. Um, what I used my coupon on was um, where they have the Midori size traveler notebook. Not the Midori, but the traveler size notebooks of theirs. They've had these um, little pockets and stuff over there. Well, yesterday they had the zipper pocket. And I know that I paid um, $8 for the Midori one that I got from Jet Pens. And I got this one for $3.99. So, and I've shown something like this before. Um, but anyway, I got this for my Midoris. So that's open. That's closed. It's got a funky little thing in it, but I think when it warms up, it'll be just fine. And then I think for these little pockets, which are like business card size, 
Um, I think what I'm going to do is make some little washi tape holders. So in my Midori that I use most often, I can have some washi tape, whatever in there. And then this is just another little pocket back here. Do you know you can always use... Oh, I forget that, Eileen. I forget it every time. Darn it. Is that all, Janet? You have now disappointed Eileen. What? 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 Oh, run, kitty, run. <laughs> no lie. <laughs> oh, I have to remember that. I wish... Oh, man, that makes me mad. Anyway. But anyway... I could have gotten an additional 39 cents off this bad boy. Because there aren't very many advantages to being old, but the senior discount is definitely one out of one of them. And around here, you have to ask for it. They don't automatically give it to you, except at Taco Bell. And me and a friend, and it's been a long, long time ago, we're in Taco Bell, and I said something about their senior discount. And she said, oh, I gave it to you. And I was like, okay, now I hate you. <laughs> Like you automatically gave it to me. Make me ask for it so you at least think I'm young. So anyway, yeah. So I got the, actually I got two of these. Um, so, because I have multiple Midoris, that, as you guys probably are aware. So now I have all the Midori accessories. All right. The other thing that I got, and... I'm, this was so impulsive, but they had all the Dilutions and all the Jane Davenport 40% um, off. So, um, I didn't have to use my coupon, and these are things that I've, I've looked at a few times. So, this is the Dilutions, Dilutions um, paint pens in black and white. Um, the white looks pretty funky. Let's just go ahead and open it. What the hell? We own it. We can open it. Hi, Linda. And anybody I've missed, I'm sorry. I'm just running off at the mouth. Do you know you can always... Okay, yeah. Why don't those buns just give it to me? I know I look old. So, I don't know. Do any of you have these paint pens? Hi, Sherry. Um, then I'm going to keep the packaging because even if it's all ripped up, if they clog up on me, they're going back because, let's see, the Dilution paint pans, um, these were $4.79. Um, and if they don't work, if they're a piece of garbage, I'll take them right back. Hi, CB. Um, but the thing I liked about these was the fine tip. And that's why I bought them. I mean, I have black and white paint pens, um, but not these with the fine, fine tip. Can you see that fine tip? And if I turn off the light tonight, I really am in the dark. I can't. Okay, so do I have to, um, I suppose I should look at the directions before I wreck them. Okay, Dilutions paint pens are perfect for journaling, writing, and doodling in the Dilutions Creative Journal on journaling tags and more. To use shake pens so mixing ball rattles and paint is mixed. To establish initial flow, press the nib down gently on a piece of scrap paper and hold until paint flows into the nib. Repeat as needed. Okay, well now we have instructions. We will get ourselves some dark paper which I have a little post-it here and some white paper. All right, here we go. I can't work in the dark. Get over yourselves. All right. The ball is moving. It should be mixed up, right? Let's give this bad boy a go. Come on, paint. Let's start flowing. You can usually kind of see it flowing down in because the felt nib is white right now. So they are nice, but not nice when they clog. They might have fixed that. 
Okay. Well, we'll find. I can't even figure it out. I can't even get the ink down into the nib. So, they may be a bust already. <laughs> That's all right. I'm going back next, I think, Thursday to do the grocery shopping for Christmas. So, come on. All right, Eileen, tell me if I'm doing something wrong. Because, yeah, this ink should have started flowing already, I would think. Patience. Okay, CB. Whew, I'm glad you're here, CB. <laughs> I was mad. Well, I think I told you guys that every gold pen I have is dried up. I was so mad. Now, how long am I supposed to wait? There's probably a bit of wax. Well, it should just flow down into that felt thing, I would think. Because it's... <gasps> okay, I'm getting some ink coming now. Now, I'm excited. All right, we're getting some perfect little dots now. Oh, baby. Yep, this is nice. Yeah, I'm going to like this little nib, I can already tell you. And look, no bleed at all. Woo, baby, baby, baby. We're going to like this. We're going to like this a lot. Yep, I'm going to like that a lot. Now, I have to be just as patient with the white. No, that's going to be nice. I like that. Yeah, there's no, there's nothing on there that I can yank off, Dorothy. Yeah, Jeannie, I know they have a gold pen sampler. I rarely use the gold pens, and I've shown you guys before, but my, this is my favorite. If I'm going to um, use gold or silver, I use the Zig paint. It's an oil-based paint marker, but this bad boy, and it's the same thing where you have to push down to get it flowing, and sometimes it'll leave a blob, but this, honestly, is the best gold, um, in my opinion, out there, and I don't remember what I paid for it, um, but... Yeah, but I didn't want to use this for the Christmas cards. So, you're so glad I have a black pen, Kimberly? Well, the difference is, this is a paint pen. So, it should act just like your um, Posca's, where I can write on top of acrylic paint, or, um, yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Because, yeah, I need more black pens. I don't even want to hear it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this one I didn't shake as much. I will shake this one. You guys are teasing me. All right. This one, the well, and I know the, the white has more boogers in it, so I'm shaking as hard as I can. And I'm going slow, so this goes longer than... It normally would, because really, I don't have that much to show. Hi, Jan. At least the white looks mixed up now, because when I bought this, the um, water or liquid, whatever, had obviously separated. And so I thought, well, I'm not sure. But I thought, well, I can always bring them back. And they're made in China, you know. Everything is made in China.
and really yesterday when we went to Joplin, um, it took so long at the doctor's office, you guys. It took forever. We were at the doctor's office over two hours. Um, Robert's pick quit drawing blood. And so they had to put some Drano in it. And then we had to wait for that to work. And I, it was just a comedy of errors. Because he didn't get treatment. It was just, um, no, oh, here we go. Oh, wow, baby. I'm going to get a new sheet. Oh, this is nice. Another thing, this paint pen should work also like a correction. Yeah, see, I can correct with it as well. Now I wish I'd bought two. And I can get in small areas to make corrections. See where the dots are? And it totally covers the black. <gasps> oh, I will look for more of these on sale. These were a good buy. I'm glad I bought them. I'm real glad I bought them. And this was, um, this was totally impulse. Drano. That's what they call it. It's Activase. I think is what it's called. Um, but um, I think one of the things that um, could have contributed that was Sunday. He didn't feel good. And um, I don't think he was drinking enough fluids. So Roberts are in a good place. So by the time we um, put the armband on it, it gets it up kind of in the middle of his arm on his muscles so he doesn't have any trouble with that. And then I said I wasn't going to do this. But since it was on sale, I went ahead and I got the Jane Davenport fountain pen, which I need another fountain pen like I need a flipping hole in the head. Okay, just saying. But I was looking at this one, and the thing that finally sold me on it was it has its own converter. And for those of you that are not familiar with converters for fountain pens, it means you can fill your... Um, cartridges with your own ink um, so you don't have to buy the cartridges you can use your converter so that was what kind of sold me and I'm not going to put the ink in this but I thought well since I bought the um, the pen I might as well go ahead and have all the colors of ink too so I went ahead and got the pen and all the inks <laughs> Somebody shoot me right now. Oh, good luck with that, Jan. My brother has a hernia that he's um dealing with right now, and that's that's a pain. So anyway, I'm psyched to try all the different colors. The thing is, like if you have all the colors you want multiple pens but I don't want to I'm so bad I know shoot me dead right now but anyway they were it was pretty reasonable I mean really to get a fountain pen for less than five bucks this was four dollars and seventy nine cents after they took the um, the discount off and each of these was four dollars and seventy nine cents so for fifteen bucks you got the pan and all the inks that's not bad for less than fifteen so yeah what can I say so I'm excited to play with that I'm not gonna break into it tonight I'll wait and do that or do you guys want me to you want me to go ahead and ink it up and try it because I will. I don't care. And then the only other thing I bought, and I didn't think I'd do this either, was I got the Julie Nutting. Um, they're more like a planner stamp set. And the reason I like these was um, I will use the girls in the Beast, but I like the ink splat and the paint palette and yeah, and all the little words. 
And this was, let's see, this was pretty cheap too. This was five bucks. So that's not bad. Many of them I won't even use. I mean, I promise you, I'll never do Crop Night. That is one I will never use. Craft Fair, I'll never use that. So, you want this set, Ange? The, the planner stamps? I've actually never seen this before at my um, Michael's. So, but I like the little notebook. So, I don't know. I was so in, undisciplined. I've never seen it at mine. Can you change the inks out before they're empty? You can, Jeannie, but... Um, yeah, see, these were... Um, this was normally, um, I think, $9.99. But with the sale yesterday, it was $4.99. So, yeah, 5 bucks. Um, you can take the ink cartridge out before um, you're done using the ink, but if I was going to do that, I would plug it with something. And what I have used to plug my, um, my ink cartridges when I haven't used them all is, you know that, um, I'll go find the name of it, it's over here in the drawer. Um, because if you leave them open, the inks will evaporate. So you have to do something to keep that from happening. And I hope I have the name of it. Well, I'll just show it to you guys. Oh, no, I've got a brand, brand new one. Oh, I've got two open ones. Yay, me. It's called Handy Tack. Um, and it's, it's like an adhesive. And what I do with this is I put it, after I get my, um, now you guys are going to know there's something wrong with me and I'm very anal. I dust my pictures on the wall, right? And when you do that, they get crooked. Well, if you take a little piece of this and get it soft and just put it at the bottom say this is the a picture frame and it's hanging from up here I just put a little piece at the bottom of the frame it's not going to stick to paper apparently and then push it against the wall after I use my level to get it straight and then when I dust my picture frames they don't move <laughs> so I don't have to go around straightening all the picture frames all the time so what I would do is if I went ahead and opened one of these inks and didn't use it all and I switched out to another color, I would go ahead and plug that with a little piece of this handy tack. Yeah, the as soon as they hit air, they'll start evaporating. Um, so that's why I would use this as a little plug to plug it up and to keep it from spilling. So, yeah, now you all know how utterly insane I really am. But it, it works. I mean, and you, when my husband was disabled, he didn't have any balance, okay? And so he used the walls to help him walk, and I didn't have a straight picture in this house. So that, I think, is when I adopted that, is that, I do use a level on my wall in my little cleaning tray that goes with me from room to room with all the stuff in it. There's a level in there. Yeah, I do that. So, yeah, there you go. I'm sick and I know it. But I don't have to go around here looking at the uneven pictures going, damn, I wish somebody had leveled that picture. I already did. All right, here we go. I opened it. We're going to go ahead and use the blue, or the black. Let's see what she's got going on here for guts in this thing. You know this is the most cheaply made piece of crap on earth, okay? Just know that going in. They give you a little instruction thing, and this is for using the converter. And if you're not familiar with a converter cartridge, um... It's just a little um, ink cartridge 
that you can stick down into your bottle of ink and use as a section. I don't know if this one uses as a section. Some of them screw. Okay, this one apparently you pull back. Yeah, see that little thing there? That little slide? If you put it down in there, suction will pull the ink up into the cartridge and then you can use your own inks. And your own inks are, chances are, going to be cheaper than what you can buy um, the cartridge ink for. So, there you go. You don't have pictures on the wall? Okay. Your Jane Davenport pen has never worked? Well, take it back. Why didn't it work, CB? Did you make sure that you push that in until it clicked? Because that's what breaks the plastic to let the ink start flowing. And I, the thing I that almost made me not buy this was her name on the side of it. But I thought, well, I can paint over that. So we're going to go ahead and see if this bad boy works. I read, I think it was Zandra, said she liked the pen. And for whatever, what did this end up costing me? $4.79. If it's a piece of crap, I, I won't cry over it. I won't worry. Yeah, that white paint pen is going to work great as a um, correction fluid. And you have to be a little patient with um, fountain pens. It takes a while for the ink to flow. So just... I'll just leave it upright for a minute or two and let gravity work on that ink. So anyway, I got all the different colored inks, so that's kind of fun. And I probably have, of course, these cartridges are probably not going to work in my other pens. Do any of you, the rest of you guys have this? CB, I'd probably take it back to Michael's and ask them if they could trade it out. I really would. I don't think you have to put up with junk. That's the thing. I'd, I just don't think you have to put up with junk. And don't make the mistake of flicking the pen to try and get it to work faster. You'll end up with ink everywhere. Just be patient. To use CB's words, be patient. I love a fountain pen. I really do. I've got all mine cleaned right now, so I haven't been using them. And one of the reasons is, is because um, they bleed through the paper and the beast. And Jeannie, I looked at Barnes & Noble today. They were totally out of beasts. They had um, the lectern journals totally, completely covering um, the section where they normally are. And those bad boys are way pricey, I think. So I'll just check next time. We'll be going back to Tulsa for something. Not before Christmas, but we will. Because Robert said today he wants to start going back to his um, Masonic meetings. He's missing them, so... Normally, when he goes in for a meeting, I um, I just go and hang out at Barnes and Noble and read for a couple hours. I like the preppy ones too, CB. I like the preppy ones a lot, and those I'll try. I'll find mine and show you guys the preppy ones. You can buy in the individual ink colors, so you can have all your colors. Um, available. Well, this is starting to piss me off because now I'm wanting to start flicking it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Take the guts out. Might have to give it a little squeeze. Oh, these cartridges are hard. Like some of them are real soft. You can just give it a little squeeze and encourage the ink. Well, that Barnes & Noble I went to today, of course, the one on 61st will probably have it. They have a lot bigger um, journal area. 
than the one I was at today. All right, I'm just going to let this stand on its end for a minute and see if the gravity won't help that. Okay, and then the Julie Nutting stamps, and that's all I got at Michael's. So, um, yeah, my total was like 36 bucks. So that wasn't so bad, right? Merry Christmas, me. But wait, because <laughs> that was all I got yesterday. And then we went grocery shopping. We went over to Sam's Club, and we ate dinner, and then came home. And I was tired when we got home. Oh, my gosh, I was tired. So I didn't go to Hobby Lobby. I didn't go to Joann's. I didn't go anywhere. We just did groceries, Sam's Club, and Michael's. And I probably would have been better off if I just stayed out of Michael's. And then today, the only place I went when we were in Tulsa was the Volkswagen dealer and Barnes & Noble. So, I don't know where to start with the Barnes & Noble. Oh, I'll start with the one you guys will appreciate the most. I did go ahead and get the Daphne's Diary. Diary. And I'll flip through it. Um, have you guys seen this? Has somebody else already um, shown this? The Daphne's Diary one? They did have the flow book that... Um, Dee Dee showed that was like 30 or 40 or whatever. They had um, a Daphne's Diary box of paper, but you couldn't look and see what was in it. Um, and then I saw this. This was the last one. And then they did have the Daphne's Diary magazine. So I told myself you can have either the diary or the magazine. Choose one. And this is, was like 25 bucks, I think. Yeah, $24.99, printed in the United Kingdom. Um, and I needed it like I needed a hole in the head, like the rest of this crap that I bought. Um, but one thing I really liked, and I'm tempted to do it, to figure out a way to do it in the, the Beast, um, the, the pages themselves are all really pretty. I'll go ahead and do a flip. Um, Kathy Berg has shown it. Okay. Um, it had this pretty little pocket in the front. And I like the spiral bound. Um, but I think the thing that really sold me was the vertical layout. I like that. I like that a lot. And there's a lot of tip, um, yeah, tip outs and stuff like that. Like, this is all your special dates, I guess. Um, but I like the artwork that's interspersed here and there. Color your days. I'm going to have to read this. In this diary, you will find a color your days page at the start of every month. Every now and then, you'll have a day when you just don't feel quite right. But if everything's going right, you're happy, joyful, and often very creative. It can be interesting to note this down day by day. This is how it works. You decide which color to give each mood. Then before you go to sleep, you fill in the picture for the day. This will so not work in my life. I did not even see the stickers, Eileen. I bought no stickers. None. Um, yeah, I won't sit down before I go to sleep and color in. But it, it's a nice thought. Here's your color your days. So gives you a little coloring picture. So, and that, that'll be at the beginning of each month. So here's, it starts December 25th, so you can do the last um, week of this year before you start into next year. But this is the thing I like. They have this little half sheet that the top is a shopping list and the bottom is a to-do list. Um... I like this because I lost my shopping list yesterday. That was disastrous. But a lot of times I have to-dos that I don't want to assign to a day until I get to that day. And I think something like this would be really work, work for me. And then I could just tear it out and take it with me. So, and there's your bullet page. So I, I just like the half sheet in between, and maybe that's why I bought it. 
is because I like the little half sheet deal going on here. That you know, if you tear it out and take it with you, you haven't altered anything else in the book. You know, I like that, and it has a little menu thing down here, which I've been wanting to like start doing a little bit better planning. Um, there's a medication chart, which I don't do medication, and there's fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. I don't have to worry about that because I eat adequate of that, I think. So that was one thing I really liked about it. And then it, each month kind of has a theme going on. Well, this January is different, but I don't know. I just like the artwork. I thought it was pretty. Um... Obviously, if you're going to use it like a diary, you know, you're not going to do a whole hell of a lot of journaling in these day pages, right? So, in all honesty, I don't know how I'm actually going to use this. I like half-assed books, apparently, yeah. Um, and, and Minky, I'm usually really good about doing a shopping list because I live out in the middle of nowhere. So, when I write, when I run out of something, I write it down because... Um, yeah, a trip to town is, yeah, not an easy thing. Tea is always a good idea, and I have to agree with that. And here's your color your days. So I just liked how things were kind of interspersed. This is an in interesting thing. January, February, March, April. It's a road map of the whole year, I guess. I don't know. You can Im enter important events here. Okay. I have so many important events going on all the time, you know. <laughs> the cat puked. The cat puked. The cat puked. Yeah. So, I don't know. I just thought the artwork was awesome. It's colorful. It's pretty. Um, I may never even use it, but I don't know. I'll cut that little bear out and put it in the beast. I'll try and come down a little bit. So you, well, I don't know if coming down or being up is better. Anyway, I won't go through all 365 sheets, whatever's in here, but you can kind of see. And here's some, it looks like postcards. Those are pretty. And there's a little advertisement for Daphne's Diary stuff. I do like Daphne's Diary. Um, I'd much rather have this than Flo. That's for sure. Do small things with great love. See, it has little inspirational things, things I want to do. Oh, that list is long. And that must be handmade soap. So, yeah, let's celebrate something today. And here's some cutouts. Oh, they're like little Chinese carrying things. Are there there are stickers in the back? Okay, cool. Let's celebrate something today. So at the at the beginning of every month, you get a, a color your day sheet um, and a picture of food that you should eat. And I should eat more of those. I'm pretty sure of that. Or Dunkers. But it's just pretty and girly. So, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. And I really have not looked through it much. I picked it up and flipped through it and flipped through the Daphne's Diary. Let spring begin. And I like the, the hand lettering. I really did. I liked it a lot. Here's another color your days. I don't know that I'm going to do the color your day thing. I'm pretty sure. It's a beautiful day. But this one's got birds and flowers, so you know spring's coming, which I'll be happy about. Because I really hate the cold. I always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. That's one of my very favorite sayings of all time. But see, I just like the artwork. Made by me. Oop, what is this? Oh, that need it's a bookmark that needs to come out, I guess. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta pull it out. There. All right, there's a cool little bookmark that says Daphne's Diary. That will probably annoy me. It will probably get taken off. 
So there we go. Okay, here's some stickers, Eileen. That's a pretty page there. We're into June already. Okay, so this is kind of school, I guess. Ooh, look at the cool coffee cup. I like that. I wish I had a stamp like that. Now these are glossy. Um, I'm I'm not in love with glossy stamp stickers. Smell the sea and feel the sky. Let your soul and spirit fly. That's pretty. And there's more food I ought to be eating. Hi, Le Bookworm. Looking through Daphne's diary. Diary. <laughs> Old ways won't open new doors. Isn't that the truth? Ah, Butterfingers. Okay, and here's another Color Your Days. The coloring pages are really fun. I do like them. Whether I'll do them, I don't know. Here's Pineapple. Hello, September. And there's more little cutout things. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with them. Maybe they'll tell me in, in here somewhere. There's a Color Your Days made by me. Hmm. I just like it. I think it's girly and pretty and so yeah. I got sucked right in. But this is really the thing I like. And I'm gonna try and incorporate this somehow in the beast. Because I ride in it all the time and I know where it is all the time. Okay, and here's more of the little postcard things. Autumn is, I thought we were just at spring and now we're at autumn. Oh my gosh. I'm afraid the whole year is going to go fast. This year went, oh, way too fast. But I guess I should be happy about that, huh? Because there was a lot going on. But the colors, oh, here's the thing on hand lettering. Well, if I hadn't seen anything else to make me buy it, this would have made me buy it. Oh, look at all the owls. How cute is that? I'm not particularly an owl lover as such, but that is a cute page. All the expressions on those owls. This one looks like he's saying, I've been holding my breath too way too long. <laughs> you like the mushroom stickers? I'll get to them. And look at this one. I'm just too pretty. And this one's sitting next to her going, oh boy, get over yourself. This one's saying, hmm. See, they could all be saying something. Walking in a wintry wonderland. Oh, God. Here we are back at winter. So, I don't know. Whoever... See, this is a project that if I had gotten to work on this, oh, I would have been in heaven. Heaven. I would have loved to print something like this. I should show you guys the, the calendar I did for Coors. Um, Alright, here we go. Here's some more stickers. A UK telephone booth. Well, it's not like in the white, you guys. And a teapot and a watering can and a hat and a bunny with a carrot. Oh. And then it gives you the weeks into next year, so I guess, for planning. So there you go. We're back at the back cover. I didn't, where'd you see, um, mushroom stamps? I didn't even see a fat girl. Well, whatever. Anyway, so that, I got this, and I'm not unhappy about it. I'm happy with my choice. Um, it's, it's a pretty book. I think for, well, considering it's, Printed in the United Kingdom, and the printing quality is excellent. Um, I paid twenty-five bucks for that, so I think it's a little pricey, but it's very pretty, and I'm gonna love owning it. So, I'm ready for a new year too, Ange. I really am. Um, yeah, and get Ratatouille on down the road, and yeah, I'm ready. I I am. So that was the Daphne's Diary Diary. And then I bought myself. This was, and the price is right on it, this is a $10 book, um, The Art of Lettering. 
it's not that great of a book, frankly. Um, it's not a horrible, horrible book, but the printing quality, I don't know, it's probably printed in China. It is <laughs> printed in China. Um, and that's why a lot of our books, I think, are, are getting less expensive. I have not owned a Lectern 1917. No, I have not. I like the Miguel Ruiz, but anyway. Um, for $10, I thought, it's not that horrible. Um, but I thought, too, it would be fun to alter this book. So I bought this book with the intention of altering it. Watercoloring in here, you know, it, it's almost like backwards of what we normally do, where we create the backwards and then put something on top of it. It's almost like reverse of that, where you've got the finished product here, but you have to alter the background around it, whether I'm drawing borders, watercoloring, whatever. So I thought, well, that would be fun, because, you know, like Dee Dee's Altered Books, she always says, Choose something you love. Well, I thought this would be a fun book to alter. It was 10 bucks. If it doesn't come out great, who cares, right? Um, I don't see it as an instruction book for me. Um, but it had fun sayings in it that I thought I could alter. So that was really um, why I bought this book. This is probably going to be an altered book. Prove them wrong. Prove them wrong. If your dreams don't scare you, they are not big enough. Boy, that's a good saying. There's always something to be thankful for. My favorite again. So this one, I'm actually, um, I think, I, I'm going to alter it. Um, but it's going to be backwards from what we normally do, which I think is kind of fun. So, yeah. Tips and tricks. It's a, it's a. So I will read it. I mean, and, you know, if there's any instruction, you know, maybe this page copy for lettering pages or, you know, practice sheets, whatever, because they give you some typography in the front and some practice pages and teach you stuff that I already know. So, but I just thought this would be a fun book to alter. So there you go. Isn't it book, isn't it, okay, hang on. Oh, the stickers are in, in there in the sticker book. Okay. Okay, so you're saying there's stickers in here that I didn't see, Eileen? Is that what you're saying? Because I didn't see the Daphne Diary stickers. I really didn't. Oh, well. I'm not going to worry about it. If they're not here, they're not here. This is a fun little thing, though. I know I need another lettering book like I need a hole in the head. But I will alter this book for sure. And I hate price tags on stuff, you guys. I hate price tags. So I immediately take price tags off. And when the price tag is gone, that means it's really mine. Yeah, I can dangle in it. You know, it's just, yeah, it's going to be an altered book. So, another totally impulse thing. All right. Now I don't know which one to show you next. I'll show you this one because this is just um, a book that I wanted to read. It's a book about Ronald Reagan and different things that he said. I was a huge Ronald Reagan fan, and my mother and I fought over this. She hated Ronald Reagan. I loved Ronald Reagan. Um, and I don't remember how much this was. I think it was like seven bucks. Um, but it's different things that he said during different um, events that were going on um, during the time of his presidency. Well, I remember the whole... Reagan presidency very well. So I thought this will, I, I will enjoy reading this book. In this book, I probably will highlight or whatever. Um, but yeah, The Wit and Wisdom of Ronald Reagan. 
his essential wisdom. And it's mostly just because I love him. I loved Ronald Reagan. So don't hate me for loving Ronald Reagan. I just loved Ronald Reagan. I was not a huge Nancy fan, but I loved Ronald. So yeah, that book was seven bucks. And then this is really my Christmas present right here. The next one that's coming out. And I can't get this camera far enough away for you guys to see this because this bad boy is flipping huge. This is the New York Times front pages, 1851 to 2017. Now I'm going to have to move everything off the table because this bad boy is huge. It's it's the biggest um, coffee table book ever. And it's more than 250 facsimile front pages of the most momentous events in history with special essays by a bunch of different essays. So um, I thought this would be fun. Um, I won't have a problem altering this book either. This book was $30 um, and it was my Christmas present to myself. And I know some of you are going, why would you flipping buy that book? Um, there was a couple reasons. One, my husband was a newspaper fanatic. He read at least two or three newspapers every day. But the artwork in here, you guys, or the photography and the layout and everything is just so awesome. Um, you know, when you figure they go back to 1851. So any event that has happened really since, you know, big event that would make headline news, um, since 1851. My ancestors came from... Norway in 1851. Um, they were fighting Indians in 1851. So I thought, oh, this will be so fun to go back. Okay, there's a magnifying glass in the front of the book. I haven't opened it, obviously, because I just got it today. Um, where you can actually read the pages themselves. So I know some people would go, are you insane? Are you crazy? But it's going to, um, I mean, like World War II and just any historical event is going to be in here. And when I get tired of it sitting on my coffee table or whatever, I can cut out pages and alter it too. But here's like Duke Ellings Ellington and I don't know. I just looked through this and I went, oh, that would be so much fun to own. And I thought, you know what? You can own that. All you got to do is take it up to the register and pay for it. You don't have to be stupid. But I'll look up. Okay, here we are. June 29th, 1919. My mother wasn't born yet. Let's see what... 1927. We're getting close. Okay, so... The closest one to what was going on when my mother was born was a coal strike. Um, there must have been some government scandal going on. There was a missing boy. So I'll enjoy this. I will enjoy the heck out of this. All right, this is right after my mother was born. Both sides still hold firm in British strike, but more men are at work, more trains run, threat of troops to guard vital services. And they're talking about what was going on with the railway service. And I don't know. You guys probably think I'm nuts. Yeah, I think it's going to be just way cool. I really do. And if it's not cool like I thought it was, well, look at all the pages I have to tear out and use in art, right? But I love history. Um, I really do. So, um... Like all this stuff about World War II and stuff like that. Here's FDR, signs the Social Security Bill on August 14, 1935. Um, one of the many major accomplishments of the New Deal. Little did he know Lyndon Bain Johnson would torpedo that plan in about a signature. 
so I don't know. It, I think if you're a history buff, something like this would really um, enthrall you, as it did me. So, but when I flipped through here, I was just like, oh, look at the pictures and everything. I just think this is so cool. I will sit and look at this over and over and over. We had a McDonald's. Look at this. It's so big, I can't even begin to hope to get it in. That could have been the McDonald's that was opened right by my house. That looks just like the McDonald's. 15 cent hamburgers. And look at the cars. That's 1955. That's just prior to my being born. And who would have thought that now their food would be so disgusting and gross that you have to be dying before you'll eat it. 1960 to 68. And so in the beginning, yeah, at each of the decades, it gives you... Um, oh, let's look at 1960 because there should be... Here's 61. So it obviously isn't every... Um, every day. I mean, it's just major events that happen during that time, and then apparently they've... Um, that's got to be about civil rights. Um, all right, here's the um, it, Cuban embargo. I'll have to move this up where you can see it, or I'll move the book down, never mind, so it stays somewhat straight. Um, when John F. Kennedy did the Cuban embargo. This is 1963, August 1963, when Pope John the 23rd died at age 81. And then here's the Kennedy assassination. So, I mean, I suppose a lot of this, if I wanted to read it, I could go um, to the library and probably look at it on microfiche, but now I can sit on my couch and read it. Here's the Los Angeles riots. So, you know, starting in probably about from 1965 on, many of this, I will, much of this, I'm sorry, much of this um, I will remember because it's during my childhood and when I started paying attention to current events, right? Let's see, and this is 67 and there was a heart transplant in South Africa. And this, some of it, it will make me laugh, you know, like when the Treasury fears a big interest rise. Little did they know where we'd be now. And then President Nixon, I'll love reading about that again. And his impeachment. And so anyway, I know you guys probably think I'm cuckoo crazy, but this, honestly, I'd rather have this book than 20 Abandoned Places books. But then again, um, that was before your time. Whatever, Eileen. I think 1851 was before your time. Nelson Mandela. So really, everything that's happened, um, really, this is documentation of American history right here. I mean, if you want to know how the media's take on American history, this would be it right here. So I don't know. I was so excited about it. And I, I really went back and forth on it. You know, like, do you need that monster living in your house? You have enough books, blah, 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 blah. But I thought, you know what? How many times do I see something that I just, I later on I think, oh, I wish I'd bought that. This would have been one of the things that um, I would have probably beat myself up for the whole next week. That Why didn't you just buy that book? Why didn't you just buy that book? So this time I bought the book. <laughs> there you go. So this is probably, of all the things I bought, this may be my very favorite. And I think I'm going to love these a really a lot. So there you go. And that is my haul. That is what I bought. Oh, I like this tote too. My art on the couch tote. Yeah, I like it a lot too. So there, the books. Oh, 
the totes going away from me. Um, yep, all that will go out on the couch with me. So, so that's it. And then the other thing I was going to show, I'm going to see if my pen has ink flowing yet. Oh, ink is flowing. You just had to, I kept it vertical. Oh, I like it. It writes fairly smooth. Yep, I like this. Now what I need to find out is if the ink bleeds through the beast. I'll go get the beast here in a minute. Um, it was a nice haul, wasn't it, Eileen? And the Barnes & Noble bag is very pretty. Oh, and my mail's in there. <laughs> Malta, New York. Who do I know in Malta, New York? Hmm. Yeah, so I guess I'll have to open the mail here in a minute. I have so much fun stuff here. I'm going to be playing a lot, but I've really got to get some cookies baked, you guys. I really do. I opened up Facebook this morning, and what pops up but the cookies I made like seven years ago. <laughs> and it was like, oh my gosh, seven years ago, I already had all the baking done. What pen is this? This one is the Jane Davenport. She calls it an incredible pen, and it's the Jane Davenport fountain pen. And I have to say, I, I'll use it. Um, I have a few more Christmas cards to do. Um, but it does write smooth, and the ink flows nicely. And that's generally what's going to get you. It'll be scratchy, or the ink won't flow, or you'll get blobs. Um, it doesn't appear as though this is going to do that. Um, and if your fountain pen doesn't, it starts acting funky, and it doesn't want to, the ink doesn't want to flow, whatever, whatever, um, just clean it. That'll take care of it. Thank you, Minky. When I want a different color ink, Dorothy, I would have to take that cartridge out um, and put a new one in, put a different color. And that's why I showed this stuff, um, that I could take that ink cartridge out and put a little plug in where the hole is and go ahead and save the cartridge for later if you only have one pen. If you have multiple pens, you just put a different ink cartridge in. You remember your maternal grandmother who died when you were 18? Wow, Jan, that's an amazing memory. Most people don't remember much before their third birthday. You got happy mail today, Dorothy. Yay, you. Yes, Cindy Lou, who I make um, homemade cookies for Christmas. Um, it's the only time of year that I bake cookies, and I only do it because of my brother. But I bake some of his favorite um, Christmas cookies that my mother used to make. One of them is called Berliners. They're German cookies. I make some Norwegian cookies, and I make, um, I call them, like, white mice. Um, look at my sweatshirt, you guys. It's so old. I love it so much. You think it's worn out? It's so dirty. I mean, it's clean. It came out of the wash, but, yeah, it's pretty well worn out. But I love it. And then we did get home in time for the UPS delivery guy. Hunky guy was pretty much right on time today. He was in a hurry, no doubt about it, so I had to yell up the hill at him. But um, I did get home, and it says, gift inside. So I'm going to open my gift. I have not opened this. Yeah, no, you don't have to waste the ink. If you put the little, I just plug it up, and then if I want black, I go back to it later. So I'm opening up my UPS package. I know what's in here because Eileen told me. Crazy girl. And I haven't been very nice to her all day. But look at what she sent me. She sent me a, I think you pronounce it Zyron, right, Eileen? This is the Teresa Collins Zyron machine, and I get to make stickers now because I, oh, and it's suitable for ages five and older. Well, that's a good thing. 
Um, yep. I don't know how to use it, but I suspect I'm going to find out. And you can get permanent adhesive and repositionable adhesive for this. But I was being a smart ass, something I hardly ever am. And um, I don't know if her and Ange were talking about. I'm never nice. I know. I'm sorry, Eileen, because I really do love you. I just have a hard time being nice. Because <laughs> um, I was just like, but why do you need a machine to make stickers? Look at it. It's shaped like an X. Um, when you have a, a glue stick. Like, I, I didn't get it, you know. Like, I've seen people use these before, but it was just like, why go to all that trouble? Why wouldn't you just use a glue stick and slap that bad boy down? Because I don't have enough stickers. You're exactly right, Jan. Um, so now I have to figure out what I'm doing here. All right, do you want to walk me through this, Eileen? Because I don't see instructions here. Why don't they give you instructions? All right, the instructions say insert the item, pull and tear, rub, peel, and stick. Some Chinese person wrote that. It's made in China. I knew it. Um, let's see. You got an early birthday card from Dee Dee from all of us. That's great. It's a Xander card, and oh, Xander's cards are beautiful. Um, glue sticks are messy. I don't know. Glue sticks aren't really permanent. Well, I treat them like they are. Um, and you got a lovely lined denim zip bag full of paper and fabric scraps from Bar Barb's VIP group. Well, yay, you! All right, so somebody's going to show me how to do this. Or I'm going to do it myself. Let's see what we can make into a sticker. Um, what do we have around here that can become a sticker? Okay, here, I've got this cute little... All right, hang on. I've got a really cute little snowman that I will cut out of a Christmas card from a friend and we'll turn him into a sticker. Okay, here's the little guy. Isn't he cute? And he will look cute in the beast too. And I like the borders, so I'm gonna have to, I guess, make him smaller. All right, let's cut the border off and see. If I can get it. Mm, I either have to cut off his ass end or I'm not going to cut him up, so I'll have to find something else to stick her eyes. Tape, not ape. All right, that's almost close enough. But yeah, see, look at you. Like this, I can cut this bad boy out, put some glue stick on it, boom. Right in my beast, done deal. Just saying, don't want to be a smart ass, but for real. All right, here, let's see what else we got going on over here. I did open yesterday's mail. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> There's nothing on here that I'd want to stickerize. This is really a cute envelope, too. I love that companies are printing their... Um, their envelope's so cute. Look at the snowman hugging deer. You can't throw that away, you know? You just can't. All right, I'm looking, I'm looking. If I have anything around here, I can stickerize. All right, this will work because I'm not going to send this. So, because it's a few years old. I'm cutting out a um, snowman here 
but I don't want to show it because it has addresses on it. All right, here we go. This little guy will become my sticker. I am a smart ass, I know. Cut him out, silly. Well, but even if I cut him out, he's still going to be too tall and he's too cute. So this one I'll just cut out. I'll circle the corners so it's fun looking. Just fussy cutting. I'm, I don't fussy cut, so. Ange, did you get the ATCs out? All right, so do I, let's see, this will probably tell me. Do I put it in face side up or face side down? I'm waiting for the Xyron experts to tell me. Put him there right side up. Okay, he's right side up. And then I just pull the, do I pull down here? Yeah, that looks like what you do. You pull him through. And then tear it off. Alright, I'm going to go get the beast. So I rub that off. Hang on. Oh my god. Janet is trying not to use it. Face up. Okay, I did face up. Got it. I'm going to go get the beast because the snowman's going in the beast. Oh, I almost spilled my water. Yikes. BRB. Alright, here we go. Got the beast. Because we're going to try writing with that pen too. Alright, here we are at December. I haven't done anything for this. We'll put it on tomorrow, which is Eileen's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Eileen, happy birthday to you. Don't say I didn't sing for your birthday. Alright, so now I just peel the thing off, right? Yikes, that is sticky. <laughs> baby all right and it leaves the I'll put him down here oops let me move it over all right I have to say it's pretty cool but I could have accomplished the same thing with a glue stick no, Jen, I have not mailed them yet. I feel so bad about it with the car and not being able to go anywhere without a ride in long hours. And don't you feel bad for a minute. Not even a minute. We understand that you've got stuff going on, and that's why I asked if, if you had. But don't even, um, don't feel bad. <laughs> I'll stop singing. It was, I have to say, it's not horrible. And I think for, um, probably what I should have done is gone and gotten a napkin, right? Because the thing, some things that are hard for me would be like um, cutting out a napkin and using a glue stick on that. Something that's a little bit flimsier, you know what I mean? Um, 
Yeah. So, and obviously I haven't done any planning for tomorrow. That is yet to be done. But I did get some washi onto some of my pages because I know I won't be doing much decorating. Come here in the next few days and then the days past are all pretty much done. So tonight later on I'll be messing around in the beast. But look it, I did that on Eileen, Eileen's birthday. Okay, Eileen, what do you want this snowman to be saying? I know what you would want this snowman to be saying. It's good to be queen, but I ain't writing that. But you get to put a quote in the beast. God, this place is such a mess, as usual. Where'd my coffee go? Here we go. Thank you for the Zyron machine, Eileen. I'm not belittling, belittling it even a little bit. I probably am going to be hooked, quite frankly. Melt me, melt me. Okay, here we go. I'm going to use the Jane Davenport ink and see if it leaks through or bleeds through to my back page. You want it to say melt me or eat me? <laughs> Okay, sorry, you guys couldn't see me writing that. Oh, I'm going to like this. Look, it did not go through my page. So that is very cool. Very, very cool. Sweet. I may be sold on the Jane Davenport ink now. Now I need to know if the, all the different colors go through. Now we're going to try. I know I don't think these will go through because they're like acrylic paint. They'll just, um, oh my God, melt me. <laughs> Hopefully my car will be fixed by Sunday and I can get everything up on Monday. and will be able to get some out this week if they have postage already, but some people sent money and not postage. Maybe we could see it or too much trouble. <laughs> Jeannie, I'm sorry. The camera setup is different today because um, I knew I had to show stuff. So it's further away from me than normal. All right. Let's see. This is going to, I have to write down what it is as I write it. This is the dilutions. Oh. it dried out it's not wanting to puke out black ink now that is going to be a problem for me I like to pick up a pen and it start running immediately okay I'll put it up here where you guys can see here's the black one look at it's not wanting to write Eileen does yours do this I don't think I was supposed to do anything different and don't feel bad for real. Do not feel bad. All right. Trying the white. You're just waiting patiently for someone to smack you? That's all right. I have smart ass days where I'm a smart ass all day long. In fact, last night I think Robert was sick of it. <laughs> he was like, do you have to answer me smart ass every time? Yours is fine. Well, mine. Okay, the white one is writing. Maybe the black one will start puking out some ink. Nope, it's not wanting to.
puke out anything. Come on, you pain in the neck. All right, so I guess what I have to do is shake it um, each time. Shake it and prime it. Um, what was I going to write? Oh, that it's the dilutions. And I usually test every new product I get in the beast so I know which are safe to use and which are not. So that, yeah, see there's not even a shadow there. So, um, yeah, those are going to work awesome. Both of them. The Jane Davenport and the white is going to be hard. I'll let this um, dry before I... Um, right on it. What did I do with the other pen? Jeez, how can I lose things so quick in this mess I live in? That's trash. This I keep. It can go there. Honest to God, you guys. How could I lose it that quick? There's something wrong with me. There it is, underneath the beast. Duh. I'm just making them tinker toy lettering now to try and put a little bit more ink on there to see if there is a point at which it's going to bleed. It takes it a minute or two to dry, I will say that, which I commonly will wipe off after I'm done writing. Um, so I'm going to have to be really careful not to do that because it's taken a minute to dry. It's shiny, I can tell. This one tickles me because most of my other inks um, bleed through the... Um, yep, there is no bleed at all. Oh man, today is my happiest day. Ah, <sighs> so that's all my haul stuff. Um, I'm not sure where he's going, but he is definitely going in here. That can be thrown away. This can be thrown away. Okay, I was going to say, why, is, why do I have a blank page? Because I haven't done anything today except go with rat tat tat or chewy. Don't you love the way the crinkly pages in the bees sound? I just love the crinkly pages. They just make me so happy. It just makes me so happy. All right, it's, it's dry now. All right, I can try to correct something now. Another thing I like about these, I'm going to buy I will buy more of these. I promise you. I promise you I will because the black that is as black a black as it could be. And that's one problem I have with some black pens is they say they're black when in fact they're not really good black. So um Yeah, this is going to work great as a correction tool. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy. See, I turned that line into a dash line with the white. Oh, this is going in my on-the-couch tote. 
that I just got. <sighs> yeah, I'm really happy with the Ranger, with the Dilution paint pens. I really am. I'm surprised somebody hasn't. Maybe somebody did do it before now, and I just didn't know. And then another thing I, I came real close to buying, and Robert kept telling me, get it, get it, get it. They had a really good deal on the Sharpie pens at Sam Club, Sam's Club. You got the whole great big set of the pens, not the markers, the pens, like Dee Dee Likes. Um, and I don't know how many different colors were in there, at least 20. Um, and they were 20 bucks. So, anyway, which pen didn't bleed? The It's not really, well, okay, the pen that didn't bleed is the Jane Davenport fountain pen that they're selling at Michael's right now with her ink in it. Now, if I put another ink in this pen, it probably will bleed. But her ink did not bleed. And then this is the Dilutions paint pen, and it also did not bleed. So, I got three new pens that I can use in the Beast that didn't bleed. I am happy with my haul. It's like Christmas morning. You know what? Robert's really funny. Like, when we were looking at those Sharpies yesterday, I said, oh, those are so cool. I said, and that's a pretty good deal. And he said, you know, he was like, well, get them. And I'm like, Robert, I need a new pen, another pen. Like, I need a hole in the head. Like, have you looked in my cupboards? He's like, well, if you want them, get them. I'm like, do not encourage me. I have to hang out with Eileen. I don't need two of you. <laughs> God. You know, it's all my fault, Jeannie. It's all my fault. So anyway, that was my haul. If you guys want to hang out, I'll um I'll stay here with you, but I'm gonna go ahead and um stop the recording now. So if you stayed and watched all this shenanigans, um thank you. Um I will probably be streaming later on in the week, but I'm gonna get some of my Christmas stuff caught up. So um thanks for watching. Appreciate it.